at the G major scale in this video. The notes in the G major scale are G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Now let's figure out how to play them down at this end of the guitar. We're gonna play the third fret of the low E string. That's a G. I'm using my second finger. Then we're gonna play the open A string and then the second fret of the A string. So far we've got three on the E, low, sorry, three on the low E, open A, second fret of the A, and then we're going to play the third fret of the A with the second finger. When the notes are at the third fret, we've used the second finger. When they're at the second fret, we've used the first finger. So far we've got three on the E, O, two, three on the A. Then on the D, we're gonna play O, two, four, zero, second fret with the first finger, fourth fret with the third finger. So we've got. And then we're one step from the open G string. The final note in that scale. G major scale, your first job. Is to get comfortable playing up and down that one octave shape. I'll recap it once more. Three on the low A string, zero on the A string, two on the A, three on the A, zero on the D, two on the D, four on the D, open G. Okay, and then from the zero on the G, we play zero, two on the G, zero on the B, one on the B, three on the B. So we've got zero on the G, two on the G, zero on the B, one on the B, three on the B, and then zero on the high E, two on the high E, three. So that's the second octave of our scale from the open G string once more. Zero, two on the G, zero, one, three on the B, zero, two, three on the high E. There's a little shift there because we've been playing. Then for the B string we shift back a fret, vowel one, three. Then you can, if you want, shift back up for 0, 2, 3. So your next aim is to be able to ascend and descend the whole scale. Okay, fantastic. Then, if you're feeling really comfortable with that and you feel like you can do that, consistently and smoothly, hang around for some more exercises. If you're still kind of getting a little bit lost, rewind the video, give it another go until it feels really familiar. Now that might take 20 minutes, it might take two days of practice, it might take a few kind of evening sessions of practice. We all learn at different rates, so don't you worry. feels okay, hang around. Let's check this one out. Now we're going to play up the scale, playing each note four times. Okay, so we're playing down up, down up with the plectrum. If you're using your thumb, or finger, you're just going to pluck the string that many times. You might want to thumb for the low E, finger for the A, second finger for the D, third finger for the G maybe. It's a hell, heck of a workout if you do it that way. So we've got... Now 
with the plectrum, I'm using it as an opportunity to practice my alternate picking. Down, up, 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 down, etc. Okay, that's our first exercise to get used to playing that repetition on each note. Okay, then we're going to do this thing where we constantly come back and reference the root note, that one, the third fret of the low E. Let's try that one again. Now we're going to come back and reference the roots. We're going to play G, A, G, B, G, C, G, D, G, B, G, F sharp, G, G. Let me show you that one again. And then carrying on. So that one is always coming back to the root notes. If you can say the name of the note, root or G, A, G, B, G, C, G, D, so G, D, G, E, G, F sharp, G, G, Really good ear training or root major second, root major third, root perfect fourth, root perfect fifth, root major sixth, root major seven, root octave. We can also descend in the same way, so this time we would get. Fun these X back and play the core scale. Feels really familiar. Okay, I've chucked a few extra exercises there on top of just the core scale. And that's with an aim to make you realise that there's not much to be achieved from just playing up and down scales. It's not the most musical endeavour in the world. These ways of playing of lead to riffs and motifs and ideas and it's great for coordination things like skipping strings and playing in diff different rhythmic groupings it also helps your ear get attuned to the gaps and the intervals and the kind of vibe and sound of a scale enjoy subscribe watch some more videos thank you very much